Active Campaign Autoresponder Madness. In this video, we're going to talk about my implementation of Andre Chaperone's Autoresponder Madness in Active Campaign. Now, Andre covers a lot of content, and we're not going to actually dive into how he does or what he does, but we're going to talk about the implementation of his method inside Active Campaign. He uses something called soap opera sequences, and he definitely uses segmentation. And there's also a product launch sequences that he goes into. So I plucked off this little screenshot, and it kind of captures what's going on. So it starts on the left-hand side. Somebody signs up, gets put into what he calls the main soap opera sequence. And then over time, you're sending out emails on a regular basis. You're building up preeminence as your authority. You're giving. Um, so email one, email two, email three. Now where it gets interesting is along the way, people can do something, i.e. click a link that sends them off to somewhere else and delivers content based on that click. In other words, if I've clicked a link in an email about a particular subject, I'm gonna follow up with another set of emails about that subject because effectively they said they're interested. So let's give them what they want. Now, one thing he doesn't talk about, but I have a feeling he would like this, is um, pulling people out of the main soap opera sequence and not disturbing them while they're in a sub soap opera sequence. And I suspect with his newer version of Autoresponder Madness coming out shortly, that might be included, but I'd like to show you my implementation. If you have a chance, I'd suggest checking out Autoresponder Madness. If you sign up, you're gonna get into something that looks like this. And it's a full-blown course. It takes you step by step through all the things that are important part of this, you know, what to expect, the big picture, understanding your audience, loops, open and nested loop, closed loop, open and nested loops. And if you ever if you're on Andre's email list and you get uh, one of his soap opera sequences, it can be painfully frustrating because he is so good at telling the story. And what he'll do is he'll lead you up just to the edge before he reveals something as his oh. I'll tell you about it tomorrow. But it's incredible, the storytelling capability. And then there's more, soap opera sequences, segmenting your list, and product launch sequences. So let's dive right in. Inside your active campaign account, you're gonna to wanna to set up, you know, let's call it the main soap opera sequence. I've called it autoresponder madness, so it's pretty obvious. Doesn't matter how people get in there, you know, you just wanna make sure it's appropriate there, they're in the automation. And all I wanna do is I'm sending out email after email after email that is story-based and it's serialized. And again, autoresponder madness covers those details great. So I'm just gonna build, let's call it a simple automation that goes out once per day and it can go forever. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna create an email, wait a day, send the next email, etc. Now, you've noticed all I've done is duplicated the same email over and over, so obviously that is not what I would want to do. Now, along the way, I'm gonna have a link that goes somewhere, and when somebody clicks that, I wanna spin them off, I don't wanna disturb them, I want them to savor, enjoy, whatever other content comes from there. So, in this implementation, what I would do is each email, if there is a link, and it sure as heck doesn't look like there is, but I'm gonna go ahead and add one in, for instance, this email. So let's just say thank you for, you know, whatever. This would be a little bit fancier. Click here. Now, if somebody clicks here, and let's give it a link for now. And this would send them off to like an SOS, a Sika, a soap opera sequence. You would want to add an action. And in this case, I'm doing, doing it, I can do a couple things. I could add them to an automation, but really what I wanna do is add a tag. And there's a good reason for doing that. Now this, I'll, let's send them over to soap opera sequence one. And I think it's called, I called it profile SOS. Maybe I didn't, anyways. What I've done there is if somebody clicks there, I'm tagging them. And the reason I'm gonna do that is because of what I'm gonna show you next. 
Like I said, these would all be different emails. They would have different links in them, but I've, in case somebody actually clicks that link right there, I wanna tag them and then I wanna go into another automation. Here I am in Soap Opera Sequence 1. Somebody gets added when this, this profile tag is, or is added, and I typically wanna do it once. I don't wanna put them back in there. So if they were to click on that link again and they had the tag removed for whatever reason, there's no reason for them to come back in here once. So again, this would be a sequence of emails spread out over time with a potential link click that would send them to a sales page. Now, what I also want to do in here is kind of important for keeping people separate from the main automation. So I'm it's right here, as soon as they enter, I'm going to apply another tag. And it's the infamous do not disturb tag. In other words, they're busy. Now, they're going to go through this sequence, and at the very end, guess what? I'm going to remove that tag and click on do not disturb. So while they're in this soap opera sequence, we're not going to disturb them with anything else. So if we send out a broadcast, we want to exclude anybody that has this tag. Now, let's go back into here and do this. So I want to put in a little bit, another option right here. So we're going to do a condition or a wait state, I should say. Wait for specific conditions to be met. And I'm going to say tag does not exist, do not disturb. So this is the magic that we're adding to autoresponder madness. And I'm going to leave it as do not disturb. And think about this. Somebody comes in, they go to this email, they click a link, they get put into another automation. And I don't want them to be receiving email after email after email, just hammering them. I want to keep them focused on what they've expressed interest in. So as soon as they've done that, they come here and they wait if they have this tag. If they don't have the tag, they go to this wait state. And then I repeat that every, every time I send an email, I do a conditional or a wait until they do not have the do not disturb tag. So again, just here it is, does not exist, do not disturb. So what you're doing is you're respecting your audience's interest. So if they start on one subject, which is your main soap opera sequence, but then they self-select and put themselves into another one, you do not want to disturb them while they're in that one. So as soon as they're done here, they will continue with the main automation. So this is a way for people to kind of self-select and what I like to call choose your own adventure and receive emails that they're interested in. That's my implementation of Andre Chaperone's Autoresponder Madness in ActiveCampaign.